believe I finally get a chance to bash League's own little devil. To counter this beast, pick someone like Yorick who can trap him and never let him go, Pantheon who'll poke him to death and block his blindness, and Rumble who can continuously harass him make great counters. Akali for her extreme mobility, Zad for his shadow popping and Cho'Gath for his health based build make other good counters as well. Teemo's passive turns him invisible whenever he doesn't move or get acted upon for one and a half seconds. And this will also trigger in bushes regardless of whether he acts or not and can also freely move within it without breaking stealth. His Q grants his next auto extra damage and will blind the target, preventing them from hitting autos. His W passively grants him movement speed if he hasn't taken damage from champs or turrets and when activated will double this movement speed for 3 seconds and prevents it from being broken by damage. His E passively makes his autos deal poison damage to enemies he hits. Finally, his ultimate is his very well known mushroom placing ability. He can stack 3 of these at maximum and when used will place a mushroom that lasts on the ground for 5 minutes until an enemy unit passes over them making it explode and deal AoE damage as well as a applying poison to all targets in the close vicinity. This skill alone is the cause of so many uninstalls, so many AFKs, so many rage quits simply because of the sheer fact that it might grant Teemo a pentakill without him even having to leave base. He'll either take teleport or ignite depending on how aggressive and confident he's feeling. I'd either take teleport to play it safe in the lane or some sort of barrier or heal just in case things get ugly after you beat him to a pulp. In terms of power spikes, well it depends on what build he's going for and to be honest he can go for so many. His early levels are quite annoying in terms of poke, especially due to his blind, and mid game is his moment if he's any sort of AP builds, and late game is hard if he goes for AD or attack speed. I can't even specifically mention items as so many work well like Frozen Mallet, Leandries, Gunblade, Wits End, etc. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, if you don't see him in the lane when he should be there, he's there. He can move and stay invisible in bushes, so don't give up on him if you don't see him, and if you want a close fight, simply recall where you you 